Hey everybody, it's spring with soaps and suds and such, and what am I doing today? Well, I'm doing a little pepper plant update, and, okay, these are some that me and Spanky plant, or Larry, as you know him, we planted these later. Um, I can't tell you what they are unless I go and review the paperwork and all of that, but looky here what we've got. I'm sure, wait, I can tell you if the cup hasn't wore off. This is our black tie. Look at these little beauties. We've got peppers. Aren't they gorgeous? I kind of wish I'd have put this one in a pot. It's so pretty. Look at those blooms. They're beautiful purple. Yep, I didn't remove my cups yet. We've got pepper here. Look here. And this, let's see, brown. Uh, I think it's jalapeno actually looks green but I guess it turns once it turns let's go back up here this one I don't see any oh because that one doesn't go with that okay this one's got peppers looky there we've got a little tiny black looking pepper new mix um, orange spice jalapeno. Huh. Well, that's a dark one. This one is slow to grow, but I think it'll be alright. And that's a black jalapeno. Another little slow to grow. Not sure what that one is. This one died on me, so I lost one. Oh my goodness, I got, I got tomatoes. Well, Tommy toes. That one come up on its own. Little puny. Little bit puny. Hopefully it'll come out and start doing better. All of these through here are a little bit puny. Just a little bit. Over here, look what I got. I got spaghetti squash. Oh, this one's got peppers on it. That's a shishito pepper. Puny plant, but got peppers. That's a goat's weed. Many sweet. You better be careful on that bike, girl. That one looks really puny. Really. Bobbing up. Buna Maluta pepper. And peak one. And I'm not sure. Reza or something or other, it looks like. I want my fish pepper. It's still little. I wanted to put this one in a pot and I forgot. So I didn't. But we'll move on to the next pepper patch. I'm sorry I'm late on this update. Oh wait, I about missed one. Look, we got cherry hot. Yeah, we got our first cherry hot. Okay, this patch looks terrible. I did get some weed eating done yesterday. I got up through there. Got right here. Would have got more done, but it didn't work out. But I still got peppers. I just got to get the weeds out around them. Now, a lot of them in this patch did die for some reason before I ever had all these weeds. I have no clue, but I had thought that they would do good up through there because I had buckwheat here, or not here, but up there last year. There's one, here's one. This one looks good, actually. Looks really good. So I'm looking for, well, we've got, we've got little bloom, blooms as well. Yeah, we've got blooms, there's one. Um, look at this guy. He looks awesome. Not sure what, like I said, I'd have to review um my paperwork yeah i've got one here i did weed eat of side right up through here yesterday because a lot of our stuff tore up my son fixed the hoe so i've got to bring that up here and try to work this stuff i'm trying to look for any more in this bed but i'm not seeing honestly not seeing any it seemed like there was one or two more I don't see them now. Maybe there wasn't. I 
I could be wrong on that. I've got to get up here at this house and really get to weed eating. See, I'm behind. <laughs> okay, the next pepper patch, which I think looks really good, honestly. We've got loads of blooms. I'm pretty sure we got, yeah, I know we got some peppers. Don't see any blooms on that one. Look at this little guy. He's got blooms all over him. This one. The reason I'm shaking them is so that it, just in case the pollen didn't uh, like come out, they can, you know, pollinate, self-pollinate better. Oh yeah, look, or that's what I guess. I'm guessing that's what it is because that's what my son does. He goes by and does this. So he got me doing it. Look here, we got a pepper. I'm not sure what that is. I'm wondering if that's one like the Scotch Brain or Scotch Bonnet or something. Oh my goodness, look over here. Look, look at down there, we got some. I don't know if my son's seen those. Spanky or Larry, as some of you call him in the pepper world. This one's got some blooms. Oh my goodness, look down here. Oh my heavens, that's so, oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. That's odd. I like that shape. It's really, really odd. And when I touch, I try to watch for like worms or something because I know, well, you, you can get them on there. Look at this guy. We got lots of peppers on there. Oh my goodness, this one has two. I'm going to show you. Look at there. I hope I'm picking it up right there. I'm looking. See if I'm... Yep, that one's got little ones on it. We're going to have peppers, looks like. I just got to figure out what, what I was going to do with them. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Kind of working that out in my mind. <laughs> This little guy, the one that I showed in the other video that looked like he was going to die. Well, he is blooming and he is living. He's coming alive. Look at this one. This one's got little peppers. Well, it's got a pretty big pepper right down in there. Right there. My finger's touching it. Maybe I'm showing it. I don't know. The sun's bright out here and it's hard to tell. we got blooms on here. And peppers. Yep. Pretty sure these is all super hot. Yep, they got that look to them. Like they'll burn you up. That one's got a lot of yellowing. I'm gonna have to ask my son about that, what he thinks. Then, if we walk down here, look at my pretty Xenia come up. And I would be barefoot, but you see there's a lot of well, I'm not worried about the rocks, but I've seen some glass somewhere last time I was in here. I don't want to get in that. And I've got this pretty flower, but look at this beautiful pepper. And it, I know the zinnia may be hindering it, and the zinnia may have to go, but I'm holding on to it for a while. This one's got peppers all over it. Look at that. It's loaded. Um, oh my goodness, we got a ground cherry. Yep but it's faulty. Nothing inside there. Oh well. Sometimes they're like that. Some of those had something in them, but that one didn't. I like ground cherries. They're really good, I think. And you can actually make pies or use them if you can pick enough, which I don't have enough plants to pick enough. Okay, we go over here. I'm pretty sure that's a purple reaper. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. There's one. This one's starting to grow. And look at this guy. Look here. I can't remember exactly what this one is. Oh my goodness, it's got an odd name. Uh, I think it's a Kamari. Pretty sure that's the Kamari. It's got peppers on it. Oh, it does. Yeah, it's loaded, isn't it? What are you doing? 
Don't have your bike around that. She's got a flat tire, people. She won't listen to me. She just keeps her riding it. I've tried to iron it up. It will not hold iron. It needs a uh, tube or something. Then, right here, this one looks good. My reefer is in here. <laughs> we have to keep the squash off of the reaper and this squash I have not figured out yet I think it mixed last year I had like the white patty pan and I had the green zucchini and now I've got like what they're white squash but they're odd looking this guy I need to get rid of but there's another pepper got blooms I don't see any peppers do have blooms though this little guy's starting to grow that's awesome. Need to get rid of that. Oh, here's one. Ground cherry. Faulty. Faulty. Oh, I think we got one. Maybe. Oh, no, I think it's faulty too. It's bad. See? Yep, it's bad. Sometimes they're like that. I know last year I had certain plants you just couldn't get anything off of. They were bad. Here's that squash. Look at that. I'm letting that go to seed. But hopefully you can see us right here. That's what we got this year. <laughs> I have no clue. Because I did not plant anything like that last year that I recall. Okay. Then we go down here. My son had told me that a lot of these have died <clears throat> and I've been meaning to get down here. I need to weed eat. Still haven't got it this far. Um, he hasn't had a chance to mow. Um, okay. He told me a lot of them died and he was correct. Yep. A lot of them died. If you can see. Yep. A lot of them died. But, you know, that's the way it goes. I haven't got back out here until now to these. Um, I watered them after we planted them. But, uh, thanks for watching. I, ha I hope you have an awesome day. Remember to look up the sky. Look at the awesome clouds. Get out into nature. It really does the body good. That's true. And thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, they're hiding in amongst the weeds, but looky here, looky here, pepper. This is one of our crosses. Got blooms, got blooms. We got peppers. Now we had an odd one that fell off. And then here's some more. Whoops, I'm gonna fall. Hopefully I'm showing you. And then we've got that one up there looks a little different. I'll have to show Spunky that. Uh, we've got nothing over here. This is a cross too. Right there. I'm pretty sure this is the um, Scotch Bonnet Cherry Hot Cross. Pretty sure. Yep. Look at there. We got seeds on. Got seeds on there. Yep. We got seeds. Um, I can't remember. And I still got peppers here. Look at there. I gotta get those. I gotta get them in pots or something. Got these in pots. I think they look good. I've got them out here under the crepe myrtle because I don't want them to get burned up. I'm going to put them somewhere else, but I wanted to get them acclimated to the weather. I've got to trim this crepe myrtle. Yeah, look ginormous, but I'm going to do it somehow. I love the bark on those trees. Um, I need to trim this to the Japanese dogwood. I did take some of the bottom off around there. I accidentally chopped off my yeah, I'm new with weed eaters, so I accidentally chopped off my smoke tree. Look there. But it's coming back up, so didn't kill it. Um, this guy looks good. I can't remember what that's called, but I love it. It's beautiful. Trim that rose. I've got to get that uh, weeping cherry there. And look, I got another one of these big devils. Yep. He's ginormous, but you know... I'm not going to leave him ginormous. I'm going to whack him somewhere short. Um, probably somewhere 
right in there. Um, I'll either get a chair or my mom's going to bring me a step ladder one to use. And I'm just going to, I'm going to whack him off. Yep. And then I'm going to trim the sides back. Um, I'm going to trim it back pretty short. Hopefully it won't die, but I'm not worried about it because i got so much around here to take care of. This guy here, I haven't decided. That's another one of these hollies right here. I'm not sure. I thought about just, actually I thought about chopping it off to the ground, but I don't know, may not. It's on my building, so I know that part's got to go, but I'm, I'm thinking I may just, I may just chop him short, you know? I mean, he's got this whole bottom right here. So I could go right there and it's a tree. You know, that, that works for me. I got in here and got off some of this stuff. We actually had a bird to use my 3D printed um, birdhouse. One of them. Didn't use that one or that one, but used the bottom one. Had babies in there. Okay. Let's see. Let me get out of here. See, I got a load I got to do. I got to do this one, this yellow bell. I got to chop that thing down. I was going to ask my mom what it was. I'm figuring old cherry or something. I'm not sure, but oh well. Uh, down that way, I got so much weeding to do, and that goes away down. If you look down by that building, it goes away down there. Last time my son-in-law brought a weed, uh, not a weed eater, he brought something or another. I can't remember if it's a tractor or what, and he um, mowed it off. I've got to get in here. These four cocks have taken over. i got to get that big blue guy. Yeah, it's got to be chopped back. I'm going to trim him. Um, I guess I'm going to get in here. I'm going to try to leave a lot of these four cocks because of the pollinators, but I've got to get that vine off of that oil barrel. Um, we don't use this house, so I still want to get those, I want to get that chopped out of there and weed eat it all down through there. Um, got my banana, or elephant ears down there. Then, I gotta get in here and weed eat. Yep. Ow! I lost my shoe. I'll be dying. My flip-flop. <laughs> okay. I've got to trim him. Yep. He's beautiful. This big guy, this is a, um, one of the, like, short, um, crepe myrtles. Like one of the miniatures. But I tell you, it's ginormous. It's got to be trimmed. I've got to get that trimmed. And oh, my angel trumpet is not dead, people. It's alive. I thought it was dead. I've got to get that out of here. It's either a walnut or a shumac sumac uh-uh don't want it there's some mallow okay there's my angel trumpet i gotta get that out away from it though so i can get in there and feed it may move it actually i had burdock come up there right here there's some more no not burdock comfrey comfrey yes my comfrey i don't know why i said burdock but you see this big old thing yeah it's ginormous. I've got to get that trimmed. That thing I give to my mom. Just got to get it to her. I got to trim this rose. My monkey balls are growing. This is at the old house. Monkey balls are growing on this side. My big bananas look awesome. Yep. I think they'll have fruit this year. I honestly, honestly do. That guy really came out. That's a boxwood. Um, it's really looking better, but those bananas are ginormous, a lot taller than me. Even these have really done awesome. Look at that. They have grown. My son, Spanky, or Larry as you may know him, he's wanting to take some of these oddballs like these right here and those down there and make like a row. I've got to get all this weed eaten, as you can see, it's a mess. Um, and I have to clean off that porch and stuff. We had people live in here and it's just, they left a mess on the back porch. And I won't go far in through here because I got flip flops on. It's really weedy. I got to get this pond out of here because it's no good. Um, my butterfly. 
I got a lot of the dead off of it. That guy I need to do something with. He looks terrible. That monster rose I got to do, I've really got to trim that thing back. It's just outrageous. Don't see any blooms. No, nope, I don't see any blooms in the water ponds, but these plums have taken over. Yeah, a lot of those have to go. There's my butterfly. They've got to go. Fig is doing awesome. That's the one that um, hasn't been there that long. It's got figs on it. I've got to get the roof fixed on that building. I may have to Google that or something. <laughs> okay, and then down there, I've got to get those trees trimmed. Crape myrtles and all. I've got a pond down here, but it's kind of hard to find in amongst all of this ground ivy. I hate to walk in here. Maybe a snake a hiding. Oh well, he'll either get me or he won't. Looky there, there's my pond. This is the one I've got that's low to the ground. It's beautiful, it ha I've got rocks all around it, but as you can see, the ground ivy has taken and the, and the, oh, the plants inside of it, I've got to get those separated out. They have got ridiculous. Um, these guys have growed. They're like monsters now. I've got to get those trimmed. And they used to be, they used to be like balls. It was like a tree with a ball. Not anymore. No. But I've got my work cut out for me, but I'm determined to get this looking better. And my, oh my, here's my butterfly. Look at him. I love butterflies and moths. That rose I've got to work on. There's the big plum. I actually had plums on it. I've got to get in there and trim off all of that weed eat. Um, my son hadn't got to, he normally ride the lawnmower through here and do this. And you see it goes all the way up to those big old giant trees. Well, I got a big old cherry up there. Uh, oh, I hear my frog. But it goes all the way down there. So one day, whenever he can, he'll have to ride this. Or if we get some gas, I may even try it. Because I did ride that lawnmower one time. Shucks, I could probably do it myself. You know, I might have to do that. Actually, I think I could. No, actually, I know I could. <laughs> I've got to get this thing chopped away. I need a chainsaw for this. It's got a big bottom on it. This used to be my heart-shaped paracanthrum, which that heart shape did not last. If you've seen the video, yeah. So there's what happened to the heart. Makes sense because I am single now, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I've got to get in there and work on that. And my poor tomatoes, look. I have to get in here. I'm gonna have to pull these weeds out. I've still got tomatoes in there and they are growing, but dang. Um, we had everything break at once, so I've got to get in there and do that. Yeah, and I've got, these cannons have come up everywhere, but of course they're not bothering much because the tomatoes, I mean, you can see them, the ones that survived. Um, some of them just died on their own because they was little, but my fig, yes, it, it, to me it looks awesome. I've got figs. I have got figs. Um, if I can show you. There are little figs all over it. Usually about August, those will be coming in. This guy, I don't know what the crap I'm going to do about him. <laughs> I'm sorry, excuse my language, but I don't know. It has went kind of crazy, actually. It did not get trimmed last year, or probably the year before, and oh my goodness, it's a monster. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to sit down and think that one out. Um, there's our apple tree, one of them. We've got several apple trees down through there. Got some peaches down there. I've got my beauty right here, my daylily. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that daylily. And this fig, and now, now I actually have a way 
Well, Spanky's been working on crap through here. He don't like the briars getting in here, so he's been chopping them. But I have a way now of cutting off these limbs that died. I've got the tool to do it with. And it's battery operated. Spanky got me battery, battery operated so I can just tote it around. It's not too heavy and I won't wear down as quick. <laughs> and he got me cutter. He got me trimmers. He got me the saw thingy. Um, can't remember what you call it. But they got the battery so they're light. And they actually, you know, that thing will cut through limbs like that. And it'll cut through them bigger than that. It's just some of my stuff's a little bit too big. The trimmers I've been using, and I love them. They actually work really well, and they're a whole lot lighter than the gas ones I did have, but I no longer have. Um, so, this thing is loaded. Something's happened to one of my limbs down there, I see. Oh, no, it's just dragging the ground. But you see, and we actually, um, when we was planting tomatoes over there, or peppers, it was peppers, found one that had came up around the back of this one and I um, took it, Spanky got it up, pulled it up for me. I took it down there and I got it in a pot. So It's not dead. It started dying back, but it, it, I think it's gonna make it. I really do. I'm gonna get those bushes on the back of that, that house there. Really need to clean up around that house and I need to figure out what I'm gonna do there. But I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a little bit to, you know, show what I'm dealing with. But I think I'm doing pretty good. And I think, um, you know, I'm going to keep keep on until I get this place the way I want it. Um, but remember to look up the sky. I always look up the sky every day. Because the sky is awesome. The clouds. Try to get in nature. Enjoy the wonderful sounds. And have an awesome day. And thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everybody. I hope I haven't already made this video. But if I have I'll tie it into another one. But I did an update on this bed. Or well, on peppers in general. Our peppers. And my son wasn't here. He was at work. So he knows what a lot of them are. So he's going to go over it with y'all. Okay. Where you want to start? Oh how about your. This one. That's a cross that we did last year. Of what? That's the Scotch Bonnet Cherry Hot Cross. I thought those two down there at the house were. I'm pretty. I was pretty certain that they were supposed to, but technically, I never did label them. Oh, okay. Once I moved them into the bigger things, yeah. I just remembered them based on their appearance. Appearance. Okay. But they well, look different from this one. We got peppers on here, people, and. Something See. interesting. Wait, let me get where I can show them. Let me get, let me get. It looks like a nice healthy plant. Oh, looky here though. Yeah. It's weed. Yeah, I've been... Okay. We got peppers. But he, looky there. There's something very interesting. Watch his finger. Look what it's doing. That's what cherry hots do. They go up in the air. That pepper's going up in the, in the air. So, it's like it's took after the cherry hot part. But the, um... But that... Looks more like a scotch bonnet look, don't it? The scotch bonnet was the main parent. Yeah, that's so a pretty plant though. The ones up down at the house look like bell peppers. Okay, over here, Sorry. Spanky. I remember, no, right here it is. This, this beauty. Look at that. I know I showed that. Can you tell them what that is? That should be a uh, Scotch bonnet red strain fruit. Okay, well, I thought it was a Scotch brains or something. It's a specific, that's a specific strain of Scotch bonnet. Well, it's got the prettiest pods. These two are freak bonnets, and they are loaded now. Freak bonnets. And they're well, getting, let's see. Uh, freak bonnets get pretty oh big. Oh, my goodness. There they are. There they are. Looky there. They get pretty big. Ooh, freaky looking. Right down there's a big one. Um... Yeah. So yeah, that's what awesome. Them that's my chocolate Trinidad scorpion. This one? He's starting to flower, but I don't know if he's got any pods. I yet. see loads of flowers on, on this one um, side. Okay. This that, little guy, we thought, I you know, that might be that wasn't might doing be, too um, good, but from the Scotch bonnet we it's had It's come back year. up really good. I, I can't remember for certain on that one. 
That is a Scotch bonnet crossed with a bell. We got the seeds from Batman. That should be an F furry. Ooh, little long pod. You can see the. It has right a big here. pod. Where? You're covering it up. It's right there. See it? Oh, okay. Down at the bottom. I'm trying and to even show y'all. Right oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, I see and it. There's a spider protecting it. Oh, awesome. Do your job, um, Mr. Spider. <sighs> trying to remember what that is. We like our spiders that are on our plants. As long this, as they don't bother us. Looky there, we got a thorn. This is a and, scotch bonnet. I'm not sure which one. I can't remember. Because some of them, like some of the red scotch bonnets, have the shape of the scotch bonnet we had last year. Yeah. Um, this is a reaper. This is Rob's reaper. Oh, Rob, here's one of your reapers. Unfortunately, I think all the... Um, Chili seed. Chili seed ones died. Mm. There's a little tiny reaper. Little tiny reaper. Look at, Look at that stinger. Oh my goodness. Hold it back up there. I'm zooming in now, people. Look at that little stinger. Wow. And I think it's pretty awesome. obvious that some of these plants are sick. But well, what about this big guy over here? He's only, loaded. The only thing that's keeping them alive is I think they're growing quicker than the whatever they've got can kill them. I don't know if they're sick or if it's just the... The growth don't look right. The no dirt um, like, see, and the heat. Growth. I mean, we did have rain. See, this one I'm pep. wondering if a dog actually peed on that one. This one has peppers loaded. Just to be honest with you. Look. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh yeah, I see. Um, this so one here's got some big old long peppers two, on it. These two are the same plant. They are supposed to be, supposed to be black nagas, but the guy that sent us the seeds he didn't know for up, sure. in, up in Canada bought yeah. the seeds off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. And I know how eBay is and Amazon yeah. from last year, so I'm not holding out <laughs> too much hope until they yeah. ripen. But they've got an interesting shape. Oh yeah, them. they're loaded. Looky there. Looks awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, that's Rudy Reaper. Oh, Rudy. Yeah. Rob, there's Rudy. Um, I think this might be a, another red strain furry because it's got a pod on it. Right it's... here. You can't okay. see it from where you're at. Ouch. Mosquitoes. Is... Look another... at this. They're eating it's me alive. It's got one of those weird pods on it if you want to show them. I'm trying to get them from killing me here. See I it. hope, yeah, maybe I'm showing them. I don't know, I'm getting any live. We're gonna have to go down there and get with it. And that's a seven pot slimer. Oh, the seven pot slimer? Yep. I don't think it's done anymore. Anyway. I've got some like, some vampirian mosquitoes eating my legs um, up here. My Kamari's got peppers on it. Have you seen my Kamari? Yeah, I remembered the Kamari. I told them about it. I probably done showed them, to be honest. Um, the purple reef isn't doing anything. Not yet. Just wash is taking over right now. Yeah, I may have to cut it back off that of it. That is a Scotch bonnet cross of Fig Bertha. That's what that mm -hmm. is. That's a habanada. Yeah, I went over all the peppers uh, in the video. There's the Kamari. Yeah, it's got peppers on it now. A Kamari, a Longado. It's that flowers right? aren't purple. They're supposed to be purple. Oh, looky. Little tiny peppers. Yep. There's but some see, little cuties. The flower is white with gold. Like a gold inlay up at the top of it. See? Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be purple. Well, we have a pepper so, uh, down there in the other bed that's got purple flowers. That's the uh, black ties. Well, it was beautiful. Yeah, they're, well, they're black ties. Okay, I guess the, we told you what most of those were, and I'll tie this into one of the videos.